Hi, you had a brief question for Jerry Rubin. Uh, yes, Mr. Donahue. First of all, I'd like him Mr. to know Donahue. that I am speak that he is speaking to one of his peers. I'm 22 years old and I'm a college graduate, and I followed his movement closely. And since he seems to advocate man's humanity to man, I would appreciate his being more polite to me than he has been to previous callers. Uh, first of all, exactly. Mr. Rubin, how long do you think you would stay alive were you to advocate your policy in Hungary, Czechoslovakia, Russia, or Red China for that matter? Well, I wouldn't be advocating uh, when I'm advocating now. There, I'd have... so nice Hey, why don't you, you finish, me? man? Why don't you let me finish? No, I'm, you're interrupting a lot. You're really interrupting a lot. Go. You're very nervous. You're so nice to her, and you huh? don't treat me. Okay, go ahead. Talk yeah. to her. Uh, I, I, ab I advocate um, a revolution in all those countries, except China. I advocate a revolution in those countries. I think that we need a world revolution. I think that's what's happening. Well, why do you... Uh, why do you... Well, wait, let me... Oh, uh, certainly. <laughs> okay. Um, but the thing is, it's very easy for me to, s to be an, an American and be on American land and soil and to advocate a revolution in Hungary or Russia. A lot of people go around this country, the patriots go around this country advocating to overthrow the Russian government, the Chinese government. Nothing happens to them. They're dressed in red, white, and blue. They're the American Legion. The, the test comes when you advocate change in your own country. And look what happens to us when we advocate and change in our own country. We cross state lines to go to Chicago to protest the Democratic Convention. The, the, the pigs attacked us in the streets, wouldn't let us assemble in the parks, wouldn't let us march. This was in America in 1968, you see. And, 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 and the organizers of those marches ended up uh, in court, federal trial, five months, with Julius Adolf Hitler Hoffman as the judge, and we end up getting uh, 25 years all together, five years apiece. Our lawyer was sentenced to five years in jail. So well, the, yo the young people in this country who try to change the government find out they end up in jail. Timothy Leary is right now in jail in California for 20 years. John Sinclair, the Minister of Information of the White Panther Party, is in jail for 10 years for smoking dope. Bobby Seale, Eldridge Cleaver, Huey Newton, the Black Panther Party has systematically attacked. Yeah. Wait a minute, you, wait a minute. You talk too much, Jer. Uh, that's okay. Uh, the Black Panther Party has been systematically attacked by, by the, by the, by the, by the I kids agree with you. on a federal and state level. So anyone who tries to protest in this country finds out that there's no First Amendment. It doesn't exist. This the is not true. Exist. Yes, ma'am, we have to make a break. You wanted to make a point. Yes, I did want to make Briefly. a point to Mr. Rubin. Yeah. As a Jerry. As a what? Jerry. As a peer of his, I am ashamed of him. I personally am also against the society. I feel that there are a lot of things that should be changed. But let's face it, no man who is established in his position is going to listen to a young and very intelligent man. I'm not running him down on his mind. His mind is very good. But no man who is established in his position as a congressman, as a businessman, or anybody yeah. is going to listen to someone who dresses and speaks up and talks as he does. Well, now, but he I claims they wouldn't listen now, anyway. Yeah, may I respond to her? No, you can't. I, you protest, respond to her? I oh. protest because I am living with a man, because I do what I please, and because I dress as I please. But I don't dress so outlandishly that people won't listen to what You're I say. You're more upset about my dress than you are about the no. fact that Vietnamese babies were just incinerated by American fire. Well, well, why didn't you call and talk about that? Why didn't you call and talk about the I gotta make a break. Seal we're commercial. talking with Jerry See, Rubin. This guy runs his whole we'll life. We'll be back in just a moment. Isn't that ridiculous?